Okay, I'm Ken Orton. I'm uh, what many people would describe as a photorealist painter. Though I've uh, I've never really thought that my style is photorealism. I have a fascination with photography, most particularly black and white photography. Um, and so I think to interpret in paint those things that are the very shadows of the objects I'm trying to paint is really quite a feat. Something that I hope is engaging in, in that, I mean, something I hope that it will interact with the viewer's intellect and heart. The paintings are, in painting them, they are, they engage me. They, uh, they make me employ skills and techniques that, uh, that are really quite difficult. They've taken a long time to acquire. And um, maybe the thing I want most is for people to look at them and think, well, how on earth has he done that? Um, I think a good painting is, is like seeing uh, a beautiful conjuring trick revealed to you, showing how you were deceived. We are, after all, trying to render um, a three-dimensional image on a two-dimensional plane, and the things that come into play in such images are uh, field of focus, uh, tonality, the use of lines, sharp lines, blurred lines. Um, I think one thing I'm trying to do maybe is um, I'm trying to uh, replace what would be atmospheric perspective in a, in a classical landscape. I'm trying to replace it with things that occur in photography. Instead of the, um, the diminution of, of contrast, colour, um, edge, all those things that happen in classical atmospheric perspective, I'm replacing them with um, photographic artefacts. I, I, I do really enjoy playing with that field of focus thing, having some, some objects really very, very sharply in focus and some objects um, falling back and developing their little bouquet around them, developing that, uh, that wonderful lens blur that things get when they move out of focus. I think I carry around in my head um, a sort of preset image. There seems to be some sort of central dictate that makes an image appealing to me. And that is like a rather developed and rather more fussy yin and yang sign. The image is divided almost half and half into dark areas and light areas, where light areas intercede with the dark and dark shadows intercede with the light. I do like paintings, I do like designs that end up like that. I am quite vitally interested in that, uh, in that tonal division. I painted a great many paintings as a young man that were only in black and white. Um, the image developed from codalith film, half-tone film. Um, and somewhere underneath all of my work, that, uh, that sort of thing remains. So this, uh, this black and white painting that I'm working on here, it really is central to the uh, central to the way I think about painting.
This has been a Workhouse production by Ken Orton. <laughs>